Hello and welcome to Scriptonite Reacts. I'm Scriptonite. Today we're going to be watching season one, episode five of Castle Rock. It's called Harvest. They really messed with us last episode. R.I.P. Denis Stilevsky. But the least said about that, the better. Let's see what's happening in this episode. Let's have at it. I'm going to read you a list of five words. I'm going to ask you to repeat them in any order. Once now, and then again in a few minutes. You ready? Wait. Boat. Family. Church. Dog. White. Boat. White. Church. Dog. Family. What's wrong with Henry? Nice earphones. Is he doing this about his memory? I'm not supposed to tell you this, but your skin looks clear to me. Dr. Green will walk you through your results. So, what is it? Do you listen to loud music in your earbuds? It could just be tinnitus. Do you hear it right now? Comes and goes. Used to bother me when I was a teenager. You get back there much? No. I guess everyone thinks they grew up in the worst place on earth, huh? She's sweet. But he did. Five days after the massacre, we still have so few answers. Why did the much like corrections officer unleash on his fellow guards? He bumped fist with the devil? Along with the suicide of its beloved warden, the tragedies at Shawshank keep piling up. In other news, Castle the wildfires Castle. continue to... Now they've got wildfires too. Engulfing as many as 200 acres firefighting teams from... Thanks for coming down. Yeah, listen, sorry for the delay. Um, spoke to the cemetery. They said they should have a plot for my dad ready by tomorrow. That's not why I called. What the fuck? Why is... It's called exploding casket syndrome. Uh, when there's no oxygen to dehydrate the contents, uh, the, the casket becomes a pressure cooker. Wouldn't think remains this old would be susceptible, but maybe when they reseal the casket for transport, mm. are you all right? Of course, with the recent trouble at Shawshank, there is a bit of a cue. I don't care if you make him vanish into thin air like Harry fucking Houdini. I don't care if you bury him under the yard or buy him a ticket to my York or whatever happens in there, however it gets handled. I knew nothing. The board knew nothing. And if things go wrong, Teresa, there's always room under the bus for one more rogue employee. Wow. I had to get creative with the cameras, four upstairs and four down. As soon as I'm done at Shawshank, I'm leaving. Meantime, we can both keep an eye on her with a smartphone app. Listen, until we figure out the long-term situation, I need to know she's safe. Why don't you just put a chip in her, like a golden retriever? Three challenges will face you, the newly paroled, as you re-enter society. What do I do? Where will I live? And finally, who will I be? The good news is, you can be almost anyone you want to be if you adapt to your new surroundings. Live. I'm Lou Hadley. Who are you? God. Welcome. I'm Dr. Marvin Candle, and this is the orientation film for Station 3 of the Quimbo Initiative. I prefer the Dharma Initiative videos. I'm a 
Look at that. Free man. Why don't we start from scratch? I'm Henry. I'm just asking your name. The reason, the stain, the curse on our town. Dragging evil behind you everywhere you went. And when I brought you down here, I was on fire with the Holy Spirit. Righteous and so strong. And, and you looked, you looked so small next to my faith. Now you still look small, but I look old. I am old. After all these years, I still don't know what you really are or if I did the right thing. story you told me in your first night in here. Now I'm going to read you a list of five words. I'm going to ask you to repeat them to me in any order. Ready? That's the same test that Henry went through. Face, velvet, church, family, red. Face, velvet, red, church, family. They both finished on family. No, I'm just his lawyer. I brought him here so you all could take care of him. Well, we're not an impatient facility. I could pull some strings at Juniper Hill. Might be able to get him a bed by Monday. By Monday? What's he supposed to do until Monday? I think he's coming home with you. So the bathroom is back that way. There's no shower. Just don't drink the water. I appreciate you trying to help, but... He needs a place to sleep, and I've got one. She's the best. That's not tinnitus. But we have no idea who he is. He could be the Bangor Strangler. First of all, you made that up. Second, you're the one who got him out of prison. Yeah, because I believe in due process. Doesn't mean I want him fucking up with my <laughs> friend. Listen, I'll feel a whole lot better once he's out of your hair. Ruth, you shouldn't have waited up for me. Where in God's name have you been? He's got a favor. You gotta kill him out there. Ruthie? Let me take you back to bed. Everything's gonna be fine. You're just having a bad Wait. night. Wait. No. Is that a memory? Matthew Deaver taking Henry out. Something terrible's gonna happen. Don't take him out. He's already got a fever. You're gonna kill him out there. Deaver tried to hurt Henry. Now I can't. Oh! Bill Skarsgård is on the move. Happy birthday, dear Gordy. Happy 
Happy birthday to you. Did you just go in live? Yay! Yay! Good job. Nice job, buddy. Big brother's birthday. Look, ready, look. Out of him that infects people. Oh, the lowest chessmen. Oh, you know, the originals, they They're were caused beautiful. in Earth Ivory by the wife of a priest. You're still the smartest person I know. Well, smart enough to know what you're up to. Come on, girl. Come on. What else did the internet teach you? Chess is good for the demented brain. Hmm? Just face change. around go hello um so he's naked and she's on his bed Okay, it's not problematic at all. 